हेलो डी स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास वीडियो दिस इज द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द फिफ्थ चैप्टर डज इट लुक द सेम ऑफ क्लास फाइव सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड आई एम जयप्रकाश स्टार्ट द क्लास नाउ कम टू टूडे टॉपिक सो वी हैव ओनली टू टॉपिक्स फॉर टूडे क्लास द फर्स्ट वन इज वन सिक्स टर्न एंड सेकेंड वन इज वन थर्ड टर्न सो नाउ कम टू द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज वन सिक्स टर्न सो वट इज वन सिक्स टर्न सो टू अंडरस्टैंड this term we have to take a picture so on the screen you can see here is hexagon and it is divided by using some symmetry lines so why it is divided by symmetry lines dear students it is very important you have to understand that what is one sixth turn and to understand this one sixth turn first what you have what we have to do we have to find its symmetry lines minimum three symmetry lines you have to find so you can see first second and third in three symmetry lines it is uh, divided so its first turn to the right side you can see in the arrow it is its one six turn then if you will go another round means another turn so it will be its second one six turn in this way you can see one two three four five and six in total six turn it is divided so each part is one six turn and you can see that this hexagon is look like same in every 1 6 turn so remember this one thing now next we have some practice time okay first we have to read this question then we will solve look at the following shapes yeah here we have the shapes draw how they will look on 1/3 and 1/6 turn so before solving this question we have to understand that what is 1/3 turn and in the previous uh, picture means in the previous video we have clear that what is 1/3 turn so here i have this picture yeah yesterday uh, we were solving this question that which is look the same on its 1/3 turn so for 1/3 turn what we have to do first to find the 1/3 turn we have to divide this shape in three equal parts as the blades are so each part is known as its 1/3 turn yeah it is just like 1/6 turn so now come to the practice time and let's find the 1/3 turn of this pictures so first i want to clear that to find the 1/3 turn of the pictures we have to divide this all parts means all shapes in three equal parts yeah i am trying to divide this we can also it is just for your understanding my dear students and nothing yeah so in one third turn you can see that this uh, small triangles means the outer is triangles and inner is also a triangle is just looking the same in one third turn so here you can draw this so i am writing the same okay because it will look the same in one third turn now come to the second picture yeah we have a circular shape and with flower patterns so you can see in every one third turn it is looking same so this picture you can draw here yeah it will also look same so you will not write same you have to draw the picture here and in the third picture we have triangles so if you will properly observe this picture so in each one third turn it will also look same so same picture you can draw here and last we have three circles yeah and in each one third turn yeah it will also look the same so you found that this all shapes are looking same in every one third turn so for that i write same and uh, you will draw the pictures okay you will not write same so now come to one six turn so first thing first thing you have to understand that uh, you have to find its one six turn and for that what you have to do minimum three symmetry lines you have to find of this pictures minimum three yeah i am trying to divide this all shapes in minimum three symmetry lines and if your observation is perfect so you don't need to draw the symmetry lines now you will observe that in each one six turn how this picture is looking so you will see that the first picture will not look same in each one six turn so how it will look uh, it will look like uh, this its outer means it will have triangles 
yeah i am just trying to draw this yeah the shapes are bigger and smaller i know and uh, yeah the outer is the outer will be same but the inner triangle that will be just opposite dear students remember this thing yeah this is so the first picture is just opposite of its original picture in each one six turn so now come to the second yeah so second you will see that it is equally divided with the symmetry lines so it will look the same so i am writing the same okay you have to draw this picture now come to the third picture it is triangles so in each one six turn yeah it will look same so you can draw it easily now at the last picture you will see that uh, like the first picture it will also look opposite so how it will look i think it will look like this uh, let me try to draw this first circle here second will be here and the third will be uh, here i think yeah like this here it will be something so you found that uh, in one third turn this all shapes were same but in one six turn the first was just opposite and the last was just opposite but uh, the second and the third picture was same so here we found that if you will observe this one this thing that uh, you can see that the second and third we are equal means looking same in one third turn and also we are looking same in one six turn so here you can see that uh, a figure which looks uh, which looks the same on one six turn will also look the same on one third turn which is the same as 216 turn you can find this now in the next page we have the second question that uh, look at the following shapes find out which of these figures look the same on one third turn mark them tick okay so in these pictures which is look same in each one third turn so we have to tick that and in second question which are the ones that will not look the same after one third turn mark them with cross so which is not uh, looking same in one third turn so we have to cross that so now come to the shapes okay here we have first picture is three circles so each color is different so different color means yeah it will not look the same so you can put a cross here yeah similarly in second picture we have a different color so you can put a cross it will not look the same in one third turn now and in the third picture yeah the outer is circle and these shapes which is in maroon color it is also same so it may be one third means look same one third uh, now in the at the center we have a circle but here we have a pentagon so for this pentagon it will not look the same in one third turn now here we have two triangles so no doubt my dear students so that triangles are look same in each one third turn so you will put a tick and here we have a different picture so outer is circle and inner we have also three circles with these shapes so which type of first we have to find its symmetry means uh, in three parts we have to divide so you can see that each part is looking same so it means yeah it will be also same in one third turn so now come to question number c try and change the shapes below in such a way that they look the same on one third turn okay so these shapes are not looking same in one third turn so we have to make means we have to change the shapes to make them same in each one third turn so come to first figure yeah so it has circle yeah that's correct then outer is maroon 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 and yellow circles we have with maroon circles but where is the uh, difference so for this blue circle it is not uh, looking same in one third turn so what we have to do we have to uh, make a circle here in blue color okay fill this blue color 
now yeah and what we have to do we have to change the color of that blue one so you can erase it blue circle from here okay so now it will look the same in one third turn now come to the second one so as you know that in one third turn we make this type of uh, lines so here you will see that if you will divide this shape in one third so where is difference here we have a green circle but here we don't have green circles so we have to make these green circles and uh, here we have blue violet and green so we have to make them equal so we can take uh, maroon color or blue one you can take so let me change the shape so first what we have to do we have to change the color of this circle means it will be blue okay this one will blue uh, sorry green and another one it will be also green so now let's change the other colors so here is blue color so change the color of this circle it will be blue and also it will be blue so now you will see that it will look same in one third turn and now in the next picture yeah the shapes are correct but the color is not so we have to change the sequence of this color here we have a blue so here we have to make this shape in blue color means after leaving one shape you have to make uh, you have to color blue and for the other other pictures you have to uh, change the color with maroon okay so yeah in this way you can change this shape and at the last here we have triangles so here here to you don't need to change anything but one thing is here this triangle so this blue triangle you have to put down okay move down then the all uh, shapes will be all parts will be same then it will be same in one third turn and here we have the last one so outer is correct circle is okay but this yellow circle is not so what we have to do we have to uh, bring this circle at the center here with yellow color then it will look same in one third turn so in this way we have changed the shape to make it uh, to make it uh, same in one third turn now we have the last two questions question number third is draw some shapes which will look the same after one third turn so you can take these pictures to drawing and last we have draw some shapes which will look the same after one six turn so for this what you will do you can make a circle okay and you can color it because in each one six uh, turn it will look same and also you can make a hexagon yes it will also look same in each one six turn so in this way you can draw some shapes for question number third and question number four so in this way today's class is over and also this lesson is also over so see you all in the next video till then stay at home be healthy bye bye